It never hurts, and uh, that's who he will be awaiting him in the finals as these guys kick it off here live from the stadium before a huge Thursday night football game between the Broncos and the Cardinals as these players start to roll in. Remember, we're inside of Madden Ultimate Team. It's a mode in Madden where you actually build players, build your team and your lineup from a collection of current players, current stars. You have NFL legends. You might see Michael Vick, Randy Moss, Barry Sanders, all different types of players. But, of course, you can't just take all legends because you have that 850 cap you got to keep it underneath, so you got to kind of balance and budget your lineup. Absolutely. you got to play to your strengths, but you also got to uh, make sure you address your weaknesses as well. You have to spend wisely. Very interesting to see how these lineups come together. Will Fuller out there on offense for little Burke. We saw him in the last game as he goes across the middle and picks up a couple. Donovan McNabb is the signal caller for him today. McNabb, definitely a quality quarterback, has the ability to scramble a little bit, but also has a big arm as well, so definitely a quality quarterback. Yeah, a bit of a blend. Doesn't have maybe that Vic top end speed, but definitely has a little bit more of an active arm. Jerry Rice going to the going to the ground game. And that's Ricky Williams, the uh, former Dolphin, the Saint, uh, a powerful runner that actually gives me nightmares Absolutely. Uh, online. He breaks so many tackles, uh, big physical back, third and two here. Let's see if he tries to pound it forward. Middle looks open, man. It looks open. It looks open. It's always a scary thing to see Jerry Rice and Tyreek Hill side by side. I didn't want to cover that if I was going to. And now we got a chance to step up in the pocket and take off, and there we go. Great job by Little Excellent. Burke stepping up in the pocket. I believe his cousin's watching in the Twitch in the uh, YouTube chat right now. So shout out to Little Burke, his fan, his squad. Uh, he is in the Patriots offensive playbook with the uh, Lions defensive play, but that's what Little Burke is bringing to the table today. Trips tight end. Short Williams. Little well, Burke says he likes to motion in every single play. What happens when you motion? You kind of get different looks, get some different guys in different spots, kind of annoys the offense. Uh, messing with the defense a little bit. Sometimes he can give you an idea if it's a man-to-man -man coverage type setup, or you might be bringing that guy in to, to come in as an extra blocker. Uh, it's just a way to, to mess with the defense a little bit. Slows down the pace of the game a bit. So Absolutely. a little burke, you keep this thing tight, you kind of you manage manage the game. Uh, you never know what can happen if you get, keep this thing close. Good nab, good protection, got a great pocket, plenty of time. Had a receiver wide open underneath, but he took a longer throw right there. And, Ty and McNabb fit that into Tyreek. T. Davis couldn't get back there with the user underneath. A dime to Tyreek, uh, who picks up 28 yards on the play. Putting together a good job right now. Good opening drive. Snap. Ooh, throws it to a tight window. As you see that lane start to open up, these, these guys got to be cognizant when it's not open and there's not clear throws. If you got a mobile quarterback, use him. Yeah, he stepped up in the pocket like he was going to go. Ultimately, kind of tried to throw, I think, a low throw on the on the corner route, uh, but right, right as it was breaking and turn around, but uh, T. Davis able to get in there. See that controller for T. Davis, a uh, little special specialty controller. Got motion over again. Bring in another blocker. And that's Chris Thompson of the Redskins. Can't hang on as uh, the defender gets in there and breaks it up for T. Davis. Little Burke here. Clamped down. Things are a little tighter in the red zone, as you know, Ben. Uh, third and ten for McNabb as he moves Ricky Williams over to his other side and uh, adjusts the formation. Got three receivers to the right. Jerry Rice going to go in motion here. Six seconds on the play clock. Snaps it. He actually used Jerry Rice as a lead blocker right there. And Ricky Williams walks in. That is, what a surprise. On a third and ten, he goes with the ground game. Tote squad, Matster Gamer making him proud. Third and ten, he runs the ball. And he doesn't even have a defender within. He didn't get touched. Jerry Rice was the lead blocker on that. That was a big surprise. And maybe that's part of the strategy. Yeah, I don't think T. Davis maybe maybe not expecting the run or, or whatever, but a great – that's what it looks like when I face Ricky Williams. That's why I have those <laughs> nightmares, guys. That, like, that's what exactly what happens to me. And uh, Ricky Williams giving us a little bit of celebration at the end as well. Yeah, you got those all-new celebrations in Madden 19 as it uh, looks like Melvin Gordon trying to bring this one out uh, for T. Davis, who will take over on offense. So, you know, the, the early stages of a, of a football game, a Madden game, you're just trying to kind of figure out what your opponent's into, what, what they want to do, and then – 
where you really win the games is the adjustments in the second half. I, I equate it to a boxing match. Those first two or three rounds, you're just trying to feel out your opponent, see what they're, where they're, what they're trying to do to you. And then in those middle to later rounds, is you go ahead and pour it on. Uh, definitely a very good drive by Little Burke to start it off, and we got to see how T. Davis is going to respond. Well, he's going to respond with Michael Vick as his quarterback, of course. Uh, just likes to have, you know, he's, I think when you play people online who have Michael Vick, they're generally not good at the game because they just want to scramble. Like, they want to hike the ball and then just run with the quarterback. Sure. But when you play a, a guy, guys at, these, at this level, when they have Michael Vick, they go through their progressions, they read the first guy, second guy, third guy, fourth guy, then they go. So it's just an extra option that T. Davis has. That's why he does use a mobile quarterback. It's not necessary to run anything crazy. It's just if nothing's there, he wants the ability to go. A little lead draw right here with the he just picks up a good game. Really good patience behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, those little chop steps for Fournette, who's uh, actually a new item came out uh, recently, a Mutt Hero edition, I believe, of this Leonard Fournette, a good truck back. Um, didn't lay on the turbo till he got through the line of scrimmage. A lot of a lot of people that aren't good at the game, like myself, will just hold turbo the whole time because like we want to run fast. Sure. But uh, T. Davis not falling for that crap. Quick game right here. Excellent. Get, it, get the ball out of your hands quick and let your, let your back do the job. And let your back from your tight end do the job in the flat. Very successful play. Ty picks it up. I wonder if that's Will Ty, uh, formerly of the Giants. Team. Right. Um, Leaving War 45. Was yeah, well, yeah. Right? Yep. yeah. Giants had Larry Donnell. They had, you know, they've had Kevin Boss. They had Jake Ballard. They had some under. Yeah, Jeremy Shockey for a while. They had some, they had some really good uh, tight ends. Good I say that Eli makes the tight ends, good, but the tight ends are good. They're, they're good on the We're going to lead the ball again. I have to feel that establishing some of this run early is going to open up that play action pass a little bit later on or also give you the chance to fake the handoff and let Michael Vick keep the ball. Yeah, there's nothing that uh, little Burke's going to throw at T. Davis that he won't be ready for. It's just will he be able to execute. Well, T. Davis out there labs uh, with some of the best guys in the community. EMB, he wanted to shout out his crew, and then he also wanted to give some love to uh, Strafen, who's a, a former Viking champion. And pressure. Knocked down a man. Gonna give that a sack or is that incomplete? Ball got out just in time to make it a third and seven. So fortunately didn't lose the yards here as he's uh, right across midfield and is still in a manageable third and seven here. And bunch right. He's going to switch that bunch over to the left side now. Flips that play. He's got Odell Beckham ready to get motioned out. And he's just making his adjustments, flipping it back. I need to go to the flat right away. Typical high low. You got the flat coming over, and you got some form of a corner out or a banana rock coming over top. That's good football right there. Good play from T. Davis. Goes over to the right side of the field. Good room, good spacing. Beating those zones with nice concepts. And Tyreek working for him. Switched over his bunch again. Wonder if it's first down, if he's going to go back to the run or he's going to pass the ball over. Down inside the 25. Hands off to Fournette. As you can see, both of these guys use these motion guys to, to, to act as lead blockers, which is really uh, surprising when you, when you look at a receiver trying to lead the way for some of these backs. But got to give them credit that they're trying to stick to the run game. The lefty Vic making some moves here. Sends the three guys to the open side of the field. You always got to consider what hash marker are you want because you have more space to kind of operate. Uh, in that area as well. And, and you're, in your opinion, why the bunch? Why is the bunch so successful and so prominent in the modern game? Uh, because the, def the guys are lined up in tight, mm -hmm. the defense doesn't quite have as much. A bit like so, players really like to base a line. They like to have the, the defense go to where they always go because on defense you want consistency more than anything. So you want your blitzers to line up exactly how you want them to line up. As opposed to Odell and Michael Ross, wow, touchdown! And that's what happens with these playmakers on this field. Odell, Tyreek, Herman Moore, you can light up the scoreboard easily here for T. Davis. He responds with a big time drive, huge throw. Steps up in the pocket, makes a great move, great throw, good pitch and catch. And a little spin to cap it off. I know we're giving Trey a, a <laughs> rough time on, on how much he spit it, but that's why they spin because you know, it works. Yep. These guys don't do stuff that doesn't work. So if you see him do something, there's a, re there's a reason. reason behind it. But yeah, with that bunch, um, so previously it would do really well against cover four with some of the, the matchup rules. Sure. Uh, there are new coverages in the game this year from cover four that can really actually defend bunch way better than it's been before. It also has some of the most unique routes in the game. It has that certain C route uh, on Pat Sale. It has 
uh, different combinations that can really defeat that zone. But yeah, being able to bring the defenders inside uh, is really helpful. And then another really good thing about it is you have a halfback to your left and a tight end on the line on the right. So you can block seven, you can block six, you can block uh, from both sides. Um, that specific bunch works Ohio, really well. Ohio. Variety. Variety is, is the yep. key to yep. And it's good personnel, sure. too, for, 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 for Madden as well. Short motion over again. Comes in the block. You got a crossing route wide open. Takes it underneath. That's Jerry Rice. That's not a guy that you want to leave wide open. No, he one cuts up field. He uh, does a really nice job here. Lays on turbo. Gets that. Puts that foot in the ground. Gets up the field and then spins before getting taken down by Rod Woodson here. As we get to the end of the first quarter between T. Davis and Lil Burke. Lil Burke holding tough, man. Flex holding out, tough. It's a tight out. game. Both offenses are doing well right now. They're not making many mistakes. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to see what the second quarter brings to us. You know, Lil Burke back on offense here. He defeated to get here as he scrambles with McNabb and gets to slide in by just tapping X. He took down Volterax uh, to get here. So Volterax won the event last year. He's probably the scary, like he's one of the scariest players to play against in the game because he has very, very good skill. Uh, a couple of years ago, he's one of the best at user catching, so no one really wanted to play him. And then uh, this year, he's got a very good run game, so nobody, you know, T. Davis was like, I didn't really want to play him. K-Mac was like, I started preparing for Volterax before I knew you beat him. They, like, he was preparing his entire lineup. you got to do something totally different. So he's a very, very well-respected player, very uh, scary to play against. And he beat him... Uh, pretty decently to get here. So a couple scores uh, by Little Burke. So he's played the best and, you know, playing a guy like T. Davis, who is one of the, the best consistently over time, uh, he knows he can play with anybody. Sure. And that definitely has to uh, uh, go to his confidence coming into this tournament, knowing that he's beat somebody of that caliber and that quality. He's got to feel like he can beat anybody. Yeah. Speaking of high quality and uh, caliber, there's some athletes walking by right now who are definitely NFL-level talent. Uh, some good dudes here walking right past the stage here on a game day. Is that how you go to work? They're dressed and ready to go. They they're are ready to get in, to work here. They're dressed to, Im to impress, and they're putting their best foot forward right now. It's all business right now for these guys coming in. Yeah, the Broncos and the Cardinals will kick this thing off later tonight. They're all looking now. They're all like, I don't know, you got time. I'll jump in. I'll well, jump. I get on the stick. Anytime that you see football players walking by and you see some Madden going on, these guys get curious. You know, that's just yeah. human nature. And, uh, I bet a lot of them are wondering if, if uh, some of these guys are using them actually right now as, as we're playing. Absolutely. They're all rocking the headphones. Oh, deep ball deep downfield. Ball. Second and 20. And Chris Thompson catches it, holds on, wow. and scores wow. for Little Burke with wow. a bomb downfield. T. Davis shaking his head after that one. But what a throw from Little Burke. Looked like it could just be pretty good defense, but that was just a great catch and a great throw. You take a look at it on the replay right here. He's, he's with him step for step, and this, that's just a perfect ball. Yeah, he's clicked on. He tried to get underneath that throw, but too much speed there from Thompson. He's a great receiving back out of the backfield and able to burn him deep downfield. That's why it's sometimes easier to score from further out because you have so much more room you can utilize rather than the red zone. T. Davis takes the kick back here. Trails 14-7. These two players kind of still just feeling everything out here. But uh, Little Burke's looking solid. T. Davis, though, will respond here on his offensive drive with Michael Vick at quarterback. That's Tyree Kill from right to left, Herman Moore, and then Odell Beckham on the far left side of the field. Got Herman Moore is the point guy right here. A much bigger body. Committed to the run game. Oh, nice juke right there. And Fournette with a big pickup. Hey, he was close to breaking that one for a long one. Yeah, that uh, makes Little Burke a little bit nervous. So when he played Volt, who's a great runner, he said that he couldn't really stop Volt, but he didn't let him break any big runs. So sure. it's kind of able to contain, contain. him enough, yep. right? He, you know, he's picking up first downs, but able to ultimately keep him from breaking a big one. And he just kept Fournette there from doing the same. Short motion outside, quick throw. Oh, that's excellent read right now. He saw that the corner was outflanked by the receiver on the motion. That's an easy pitch and catch. That's a great read by T. Davis. Yeah, that's verticals there. You get those three routes going deep. You motion Odell out. He actually has a little, like, little leverage little, on them. little kick out to his route. He kind of runs uh, out towards the sideline. And when you, when you partner that with the motion, if there's no zone out there. It's easy, easy money for T. Davis. Throw motion over. Ooh. 
Fournette needs to the run. Fournette's a tough guy to bring down. Fournette is very difficult. He's very popular in this Madden Ultimate Team mode. Him, uh, Ricky Williams, very common. Uh, Eddie George, we hear, is pretty good. And then uh, just announced today we have Most Feared, so Halloween style theme players coming out. So Calvin Johnson will be out. Anthony Barr will be out. Uh, Derek Henry uh, will be somebody you, you see in a promo like that with big, big body. So could he be the next one? That is uh, one of the questions we get. Second and three, T. Davis throws to the flat and four net oh my breaks a tackle. And that is the reason he has a truck specialist uh, as one of his ability chemistry. So inside of Ultimate Team, your players can have uh, special abilities. This item right here uh, at halfback, the four net with the truck specialist offensive chemistry. And that's why you see him, uh, his little icon flashes underneath when he... Oh. I just really like the calmness in T. Davis right now. He's not panicked. He's down right now. He's sticking to his game plan. He's not trying to be greedy. He's just taking what the defense gives him. So I got to give him a lot of credit. And he goes to the high point throw, and it's intercepted by Deion Sanders. Spoke too soon. Interception in the red zone. In the end zone, that is a huge, huge play. Wow. What a play from Deion. Little Burke gets underneath the football. You can see it. He thought he had... The high point, I even think he was going to, uh, looks like Herman Moore maybe. That's the guy you throw the high point to, but Dion. The one thing that, that, that I noticed on that one is a lot of his throws were out to the perimeter. He hadn't thrown a lot of balls into the middle of the field, and that, that cost him on that one. And that is why they do not throw and test those users across the middle of the defense. Little Burke grabbing one with Dion Sanders. And able to take over here just before the two-minute warning, see if he can stack on any points to that lead. Both players still have three timeouts here with a minute to go. Tough to throw a pitch in the red zone. Takes the underneath. That's the one thing about Little Bird, though. He, he took the one deep shot down the field, but everything else, he's taking exactly what the defense has given him. He's being patient. He's taking a little five yards here, a little eight yards here, ten yards here. That's, that's really good football right now. Really difficult to play against players yes. that do that, too, especially if, if you play a guy that runs on third and ten, you you think maybe they're afraid. Like, right. You, you never know what they'll do. If, they, if they're willing to run on third and ten, there's no telling uh, Ooh, what the other plays they might call. So it can be. it's almost frustrating to play against it because – you get your third and long defense ready, like, okay. And then they're not playing by what, how you think they should play. Well, that's what I was talking to some of the guys and they were asking some questions about teams that we played and, you know, told them about this, the Steelers and the Ravens and how Ed Reed and Palomario, they just didn't follow the defensive rules. So it makes it very difficult to key in on certain things. And that's, that's what you have here when you have somebody who's willing to run on third and ten. McNabb, Sacked second again. 20 sack, and T. Davis going to go ahead and take that second timeout, try and get some points back before the half. Can Two he force in it? A row. Little Burke in those Patriots offensive playbook. Defensively, he's on the Lions. He's running a West Coast offensive chemistry for yeah, his third and uh, 26 lineup. 26 here. There's no play call for it. Looking for maybe a screen, maybe some form of crosser to try to get him out uh, in open space. But... McNabb looking, throws quick to the flat, and Ricky Williams stays inbounds. T. Davis takes his final timeout, and that's going to mean a punt from Little Burke here on fourth and 14. It's a good, smart, safe play. Good, smart, safe play. Forces the punt. Doesn't have any timeout, so the likelihood of him scoring right now is going to have to come on one big play. Yeah, smart move by uh, staying inbounds there. Keep the ball to Deion Sanders. That could be his trouble. Randall Berkeley. 24 from Tucson, Arizona, flew down. I said, uh, drive down or fly? He said, fly. I said, that means they probably put you on a small plane, right? Because, like, it's not that far. He's like, it was terrible. It was terrible. Two seats. Uh, it's not for me. I don't, I'm not a fan of those, those aircrafts. I don't do too well with small planes. No. Herman Moore spins back up the middle. 12 seconds to go. He's at midfield. Going to need to take a shot. He's going to run out of time. Will he get one more snap off? Indeed, Vic. Don't give up the sack. Throws, throws the away. ball away. No harm, no foul to end the half. Good defense from Little Burke there to contain T. Davis. He's got a 14-7 lead at the half. Ben, let's keep the action rolling here. You know why? We've got a game going on today. We've got the Broncos and the Cardinals on Thursday Night Football. 
We've got two more. This is the second of two matchups. K-Mac defeating Trey in the first battle of the day. And now T. Davis trails by seven against Little Burke here as they kick off the second half. Z. Farrells, Ben Patrick, former tight end for the Cardinals. Once a tight end, always a tight end. Always, always. And right now I'm very interested because right now uh, coming into it, T. Davis was the favorite uh, right now, but Little Burke is showing that uh, the least favorite guy can can control the game, and that's what he's doing right now. Yeah, and it's been pretty even. The real the real big play being that interception by Deion Sanders on uh, T. Davis' second drive because he, he drove all the way down but just unable to kind of to, to force it in the red zone. I talked to T. Davis uh, last night, and he was saying, I was like, I was like, what do you like to do in the red zone? He's like, I like, I got stuff. I don't want to, he's like, I don't want to tell you. Uh, you'll, you'll see it. Like, coming underneath. Okay. Oh, misplayed on defense. Good pickup, about 12, 15 yards right there. So the first misplay from Little Burke there, uh, missing a tackle after kind of a, a strange click on uh, in the flat. But and, if, and if you look at what we talked about earlier with, with T. Davis, a lot of his passes are out on the perimeter, out into the flat. The one mistake that he made was throwing that ball more towards the, in, the middle of the field. Dangerous area. Here we go to the flat again. Again, this is a good read. This is good situational football. He's taking what the defense is giving him. And this will ultimately kind of decide when will Little Burke have had enough mm -hmm. of the flattest? We look at T. Davis here. He's in the West Coast playbook on offense. That's one of those specialty playbooks. He's running a truck specialist chemistry, Lions on defense, and he does have a dynamic duo with Fournette. Uh, his QB is Michael Vick. He loves that Herman Moore. He enjoys the Deion Sanders on defense. And, of course, he's got himself a Troy Apke as a budget baller for his salary cap squad here. Salary is at 850 in this Madden Ultimate Team mode, both players constructing those lineups. Well, you, you, you talk about when will Lil Burt get, get tired of the, the flat routes, and that's what's actually going to open up that slant that, that got picked off or the post that got picked off in the red zone. So as soon as he starts addressing the flat, that's going to open up yeah. the dig, the dig that was wide open in the middle of the field. Here wide open route there. He, he went deep, though. He wanted more, and he gets it down inside the 11-yard line. Let's see if he's got some of those red zone trinkets, as he said last night. Uh, able to and he learned from the mistake of, of last time. Looks at the crosser, takes off the run. Excellent, excellent football right there. Risky though, could have slid with Vic. Could have slid with him, but he took both of his crossers, saw that those were covered. Once that middle vacates, there's nobody to account for. Tremendous Vic. stick to go up the middle. Tre Absolutely. Tremendous. I will say, I was a little bit nervous when he took the <laughs> hit there because Vic is known, known to, to uh, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> every now and then. Uh, if you're not holding that RB. Now we got the big boys in. This is my this is my time of the game right here. Let's we got go. the big boys in. Let's just smash this ball in here. You got Leonard Fournette. No need to get cute. Let's just smash it in there. That's not the play that I would have chosen. I think it got him the first down though. So I he'll take it. Let's see if he goes right back to it if he hurry. Right now this defense is not designed right now to stop this run. No, not a lot of beef in the middle of the field. No. Where's the beef? I'm going towards both of those tight ends. Ran the Vic again. Ow. Maybe that's a, one of those things he likes to do in the red zone. QB sneak that was, have. That was one of the trinkets we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, <laughs> that was easy. That was. Now we got a top ball game. We got and a good game. And now you see Vic uh, scramble it in. Do you feel like the pressure is on Little Burke because it's a tie game and you've you've been slightly outplaying with the turnover, or do you feel like the pressure's on T. Davis because now you oh yes, we got a kick down the sideline. I think the pressure is on Little Burke to be honest with you. He's played a good game up to this point. Uh, but you got a little more experience with T. Davis. So he's been here before. As you can see, that he stuck with his game plan. Did he get really nervous oh, or, no. or try to get too much back? I think the pressure's on Little Burke right now. He's running the Patriots offense with that West Coast oh, no. chemistry oh, no. and then the Lions playbook on defense. On his squad, he uses that McNabb. He loves some Tyree Hill. And then he mentioned how good uh, the Jabal Shear is for his defense. I think he's using the full Jabal Shear. Uh, secondary version, but I think T. Davis has the, uh, the 83 core lead to ball sheared, so go get yourself sheared. He's got very high finesse move on defense. All right, McNabb. Little Burke's got to stick with his game plan. No need to, to panic or anything right now. Take your crosser. Take your crosser. There you go. Wow. Good move. Wow. And the loop blitzer came in, and he got the ball out just in time. Uh, to pick up some yards, had a nice spin. Chris Thompson with his second catch, had that touchdown earlier. 
uh, before two days able to haul him down. Big time third and six. Yeah, we're in a manageable third and six. That's what you, that's what happens when you take what the defense gives you. McNabb calling his lead motions. Crosser, crosser, crosser. It's all day long. I'm telling you right now, these guys are attacking the outside uh, of the defenses right now. And as long as you're going to leave it open, you got to keep going there. And we've got a situation. Fourth. In inches. In inches. You got Ricky Williams. Lawrence Taylor shoved them just stop of the line, uh, just short of the line. Now you got Ricky Williams on fourth and inches. Do you go there? Little Burke, you're the guy that's that's chosen to the, that's not favored to win. I think you make a statement right here. I don't know if I would go with this formation. I think I would line it up, tee it up, and, and take Ricky Williams right up the middle. All right, a, a big fourth and inches in a tie game. Our second semifinal. Hands it off. Nearly, nearly home run right there, nearly. Fortunately, that broken tackle slowed him down just enough for his friends to join the party. Sheard grabs his third tackle of the game. But you have to appreciate the strategy to that. Running out of the, the shotgun spreads his defense out a little bit, creates a little bit more lane, so you have to appreciate that as well. Yeah, the 3-3-5 odd defense here, not the most stout run defense uh, in the game. Back to the games again, excellent pick up a five or six. And now you're controlling the game. You're going to take this thing to the fourth quarter in a tie game. And you got to feel good about that. Uh, playing T. Davis, who, you know, he's made some money on this circuit. He's played in the Patriots Club Championship uh, last season. Got $4,500 to uh, the MCS in the last two seasons. Working a quick game right here. Again, controlling the clock, moving the chains. He's in control right now. He's handling the pressure very well. As we, we talked a little bit earlier, uh, who had the most pressure right now, and we felt like it might have been Little Bird, but he's, uh, he's handling that very well right now. 4500 bucks here as his uh, career earnings for T. Davis on the MCS. He's been playing for years and years. I mean, he's, he's back in Madden 13 out in Vegas. Uh, he's been doing it for a long time. So right now in this fourth quarter, he's going to try and find a way to turn this thing up. Z Falls and Ben Patrick here breaking down the action. We cannot wait to see the fourth quarter here at the Madden 19 Cardinals Championship. Thanks to everybody tuning in right now. The Cardinals have been great hosts. Uh, they've got a, they even put on a game for us uh, tonight. Between the, this is for us. The Broncos and the Cardinals are going to play. <laughs> and uh, we're going to stay here and enjoy this one as well. Will Burke takes the short completion, short crossing route over the middle of the field. That seems to have been the MO for him uh, all day. It's been open, so uh, why not take it? Second and three. Looks to be prepared to run. We'll see if he Short decides motion. to. Uh, Ricky Williams, right up the middle. We got a lead blocker. Ooh, stuff. It's a little bit short. That's Brian Dawkins, the former Eagle. Played uh, against him, and uh, he is, is as advertised. I can tell you that right now. He terrifying? Turned, oh, when he turns into Wolverine, he legitimately is Wolverine. So I can attest to that firsthand. Uh, definitely glad not to have to play him anymore. Man, he gave a speech like at the start of Man No Eight when he turned on the game, and every time I'm like, I'm going to run through a brick wall. And he means it. Nab. Oh, oh, big drop. Huge Bill drop. Fuller just straight dropped the rock. Uh, got fourth the and throw one. Over. Now what do we do? Fourth and one. This is the fourth quarter. What do we do? Do you do you punt it or do you go for it oh, with Ricky Williams? Oh, you're going. I mean, if you're a little Burke, you did not fly here on a two-seater plane. Uh, to Let's not go for it on fourth and one. The Twitch chat did not show up to see Little Burke not go for it on fourth and one. You're trying to represent the Cardinals in the club championship. You want a shot at that $100,000 in January. This defense is not set up to stop this run right here. These gaps all day long. Just he a, got it. Just enough for the first down. Just enough. A good job cutting back to that left gap. Uh, the Let's one go. thing about that defense, it, it's not stout, but if you're good, and T. Davis is good, you can you can sometimes shoot gaps. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, get, and get try to beat him to the, the backfield. So, yep. Uh, it's a little risky, but on those situations on the short yardage, it's a little bit dangerous. Don't take a sack. Yeah, too much movement in the pocket, and that's sheared. Who else uh, for T. Davis? That's core elite sheared. Uh, five sacks to none. So. Some big sacks from T. Davis, but he hasn't gotten off the field sure. uh, when it's mattered. Maybe he may have picked up on some of the tendencies of these, these crossing routes right here in the passing game. Fourth quarter adjustments. How you win Madden games? Oh, what did he pick? Uh, excellent pick. Can he get up and keep going? 
Yes, he can wow. and he will. Look at how quickly things change. What a huge, huge play by T. Davis right there. He's in the driver's seat right now. Watch this replay. The wow. throw to the flat. Chris Thompson cannot wow. catch it in Milton. Wow. Who else but Milton grabs the ball, starts right, to right run back at the, right the time. field. And that is an unfortunate play. Levert had two drops on that drive. Will Fuller drop that pass? And then you had the short throw to the flat. Just unlucky for Little Burke. Now, if you're T. Davis right now, are you going to throw the ball or are you going to try to pound this pound this ball and run some of this clock down? I'm going to... Okay, so you're asking me if I'm, so if I'm T. Davis. That means I'm way better at Madden than I am. <laughs> I would run the ball. But if I was T. Davis... Do what he does. And I'm really good at passing, <laughs> Do what he I does. would pass as much as possible. And I'm just trying to get seven because in a Madden game... There's going to be another drive. He has timeout, so. Michael Vick tries to squeeze through there. It's better than taking a sack, but he tries to squeeze through. He's in a manageable third and five. And we're ticking towards the two-minute warning. He's, he's in field goal range, right on the cusp here of field goal range. So he can't take a sack. Is he going to attack the flats like he's been doing all day? He switches his bunch back over. Will this be the point where Little Burke has had enough and says, you know what? Hard flat this play, and then he gets beat deep. So let's see what he does here. Third and five, Vic. He got the crosser at X. Oh, my oh. goodness. What a scramble by Michael Vic. What a play. Sheard grabs him by the shoelace. And fortunately, now not a lot of fumbles on that uh, animation. So Vic. Now we're going to go to the two-minute warning. This has got to be an uncomfortable situation for a little Burke right now. T TD is in, in scoring position right now. And he's in complete control. And when you're scrambling like that, you know, it's something he wants to do as one of his last resorts. Absolutely. It's not like he's doing it on purpose. So, no. so I mean, he's got some clamps on him. Absolutely. And he, he's still getting the job done. But that these are tough, tough yards here in this club championship. And run formation right here. I feel like we're going to get a dose of Leonard Fournette right here. Oh, and he missed a hole. Had a shot to hit it. Just 9 for 26 for Fournette, but has had a couple highlight runs. But the main thing that you're looking at right now is I'm looking at this, this clock right now. Little Burke may need to start calling timeouts to try to save some time if he believes that uh, uh, Davis is going to score. Yeah, we are going to uh, take a quick pause here as these guys are just uh, working through a couple uh, pause things uh, in the menu. And I'd like to, what I'd like to do, Ben, is just let the folks at home know uh, if you're new to Madden and you haven't quite mastered it or you're still trying to learn, you're trying to get better. There's so many resources online where you can go and get better. You know, K Mac's only been playing for a couple of years, but he follows guys like Problem. He's in the Twitch chat, he's in the community, and he gets the job done. Little Burke, this is his first year. He only started watching playing in Madden 16. Wow. So that's only two years where he's now actually making some money, enjoying playing the game, and I mean, really seems to have quite the command of the game. So Absolutely. The resources are there. That with today's modern internet, there's so many tutorials, there's so many things that you can actually look at, and why not just pick up the sticks with a buddy and start practicing from there? I mean, who knows where you can go with it, and Lil Burke is a perfect example of not playing it very much to playing it now and actually earning money doing that. Yeah, well, these guys are back in action here with a minute 40 left to go. We got a second and nine. T. Davis in the red uniforms. Holding on to on the that, rock. Trying to chew up some of this clock. Wants to play K-Mac in the final. Uh, it would be a battle of the two favorites, but he's not there yet because Lil Burke's using those timeouts. Third and five. In first, this one. First down may ice this game right now, so this is a huge play. Biggest play of the club championship so far. T. Davis, third and five. Which is bunch. Let's look for something in the flat quick right now. Nice, easy, safe throw. You got your A in the flat. You had your A in the flat. Oh. Oh, and he goes the opposite way. What a smart football player right there. He goes down. Instead of taking the score, he goes down so that he can chew up some of this clock in his timeouts. Wow. What yes. A play. Left trigger, right trigger, taps X. What that does is uh, gives up your ball carrier. Wow. You, you keep the play alive. He had not thrown that route the entire the day. The entire day. Just chilling in his back pocket that's the whole the time. That's the definition of a good player right there. Busts it out in poor Poor little Burke right now, scratching his chin, thinking about what if he had just caught that pass in the flat or if it had fell to the ground, man. And that is just such it's, a tough place to live in. It's, a, it's an unfortunate for little Burke because I feel like he played a good enough game to win today, but it just came down to one small mistake, and it, it likely has cost him the game. 
We're going to have to still have a big time uh, field goal here from T. Davis. So Little Berkshire has one timeout, which means he's going to ice uh, the kicker potentially. So as long as he calls a timeout before the kick, but we'll see if T. Davis is able to, to get out of that uh, thing. So there's abilities with your focus kicker where you're not affected by ice. That's a lot of cap, though, sure. so most people don't have that kicker. So we're going to have a little bit of a moment here. It's not quite over. Little Burke, can he block it? Can he just summon some type of magic here for the man from Tucson, Arizona? Got to tip your hat off to T. Davis. When you look at this clock management, I mean, this is almost identical to what NFL football is. He's got this thing down to six sec five seconds right now. This is, this, is, uh, this is very impressive. Yeah, so Little Burke took the timeout, and that would have uh, put T. Davis into an ice kicker situation. So he calls QB Spike to just waste the down. He has no timeouts left, and now he gets to kick an unice field goal. So that's how smart and how much these guys. Dang, he blocked oh, nearly. it! He, oh, <laughs> my God. You have no idea what just happened. Wow. We need a replay of that. Too he, close for comfort. Little Burke got the block animation on that kick. Wow, and look how look close. At him look in. how close that was. He whiffed on the dive to block the kick and force overtime. Oh, Unbelievable wow. finish, finish here at the club championship. T. Davis edges Little Burke 17-14 on the last play of the game. Wow. Big time management, big time adversity for T. Davis after that turnover just before the half. He's able to go down and get it done. What impressed you most about T. Davis's win? It has to be his his confidence and his ability, but he stayed with the game plan, stayed within himself. He told me in the back that he felt confident that he could beat anybody that he played, got down early to, to an opponent that he was supposed to beat, stayed with the game plan, and ended up winning in the end. I thought that it was uh, masterful in that fourth quarter how he played. In a Big, big credit and shout out to Little Burke. Oh, absolutely. Traveled down here, first tournament, took down Volterax, as we mentioned, the club champion last year, to get just into this position uh, to play in the Final Four. You got to love what the, he brought to the table. These are situations where you hate that there has to be a winner and a loser because I felt like Little Burke played a good enough game to that he deserved to win, but you got to tip your hat off to T. Davis. He, he finished the deal. All right. Well, we have Heidi standing by. She's with our winner, T. Davis. He's got to let us know about that. Let us know about that field goal, uh, how, what your heart rate was uh, at that field goal. Heidi, T. Davis, take it away. All right, here with T. Davis. Oh, my gosh. How did you feel when you thought that field goal was going to be blocked? My heart's still racing, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't have good luck with game winning field goals in my Madden career history, so I thought it was another bad thing. But, you know, luckily, I got a little lucky, so I'll take it. You know what I mean? Definitely went in your favor. So it seems like things weren't really going your way that game. How were you able to adjust and kind of move forward to win that game? Well, I felt like I was playing good D. I mean, you got a long bomb over the top, but like that's the D I want to play. I want him to make force that, and I could use or pick it. Um, but I felt like I played a good game. He couldn't stop me, and then I got a little lucky at the end. But I mean, I hung in the game. That's all that matters. I played good D, and the luck came my way, so I needed it. All right, and last but not least, how do you feel being matched up against K-Mac in this championship game coming uh, up? K-Mac actually beat me online to get here. He blew me out. Uh, he ran something I didn't expect, and I put a lot of work in for this. So he's the one I prepared for the most. So uh, he's a good player. He's got a good, unique offensive defense. We'll see how it goes. All right, championship games coming up. Don't go anywhere. Back to you guys.